And our last inductee is Tim Moberg to present Tim's Hall of Honor plaque is Kelly Loff. Tim Moberg has been an avid supporter of Southwest Minnesota State University and Mustang Athletics for more than 40 years. Moberg has been a longtime member of the Mustang Booster Club, including serving as Booster Club president. Over the years, Tim and his wife Judy have hosted numerous Mustang Booster Club socials at their home and have also opened their home to hosting various SMSU teams for special dinners. Tim, a 1971 graduate of SMSU, has been involved in numerous civic organizations in the community, including the Marshall Basketball Association, Marshall Park and Rec, Big Buddies, and Pheasants Forever. Please welcome the newest member of the Hall of Honor, Tim Moberg. Congratulations, Mr. Moberg. I know you like that microphone. Yep, thank you. You've, uh, he's bored with it. Yeah. Big fan of that. Well, first of all, congratulations, Tim, and uh, a well-deserved honor for all your support of Southwest over the years. And, uh, you know, we kind of asked this question with, you know, how did people get here and whatnot. And your connection with Southwest uh, came to school when it was a very young uh, university. Uh, you know, what drew you to Southwest uh, coming out of when you were at Wilmer Community College to come well, to Marshall? <laughs> I'd like to follow up my all these football guys and the basketball and the tennis gal and the con over there and tell you that uh, it was a very highly intense recruiting process. <laughs> <laughs> Truth is, it wasn't. Uh, <clears throat> I wasn't all that talented. I wasn't all that good at anything. And for those of you who know me and don't know me, I'm not exactly the brightest light on the Christmas tree. <laughs> So I threw out a bunch of applications. Uh, thank God Southwest answered one, and I'm thinking <laughs> I better jump on this before they change their mind. <laughs> and the rest is history, but I tell you what, I'm very grateful to Southwest State. Got a great education, got a degree, and it opened a lot of doors for me. Well, after graduation, Tim, you, like you mentioned, started uh, got a job and family and, what, uh, and, and all those things. What got you involved, you know, obviously you were a student here, but to, to maybe come to SMSU athletic events in the 70s and 80s, and, and what were some of those memories? I'm sure you have some of, of certain teams or maybe individual coaches or whatnot. Well, you know, the experiences and the memories are always based on, uh, on people. And we've had a lot of great kids come through this, this institution and, and some really good teams. Um, volleyball's been on a roll, women's volleyball. Um, Football, the 90s, you had some great, great players there with this gentleman, Mr. Delaney, and Jeff Lutz, and, and that group. I remember that. That was really a lot of fun. Um, and there has been a, a, other, a lot of success individually. Uh, I think one of either my first or my second tenure as president, uh, I, I think got to be special is that 2001 uh, bas men's basketball that went on to the nationals. And I might add that, that uh, Brunzi over there in that group, who we used to feed, uh, they had a great run too. Mm -hmm. uh, they were just equally equally successful, and they were just a, a fun time to be to be involved. So that in the 2009 is great yeah. because that went to the next level. Yeah, lead eight as well. Uh, one thing, Tim, very quiet. He, he does not uh, you know want to talk about himself and st and those type of things. But uh, Tim and his wife opened their home to to many booster club socials that we've had for coaching searches and other socials and. Teams, you know, we don't go out there and promote it. And uh, but the, the things that you do, how special is that to to be able to do that to, for those teams, you know, th to come and get to know them, and you know, uh, those programs. I know really appreciate it. Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, you know, thanks Kelly for you and Chris there reminding me, constantly reminding me that I'm in the 1971 <laughs> graduating <laughs> class. Why don't you just tell them I'm 100 years old? But the, <laughs> what the rest of you have to know is that that. I was very gifted growing up in high school, seriously, and I really, I, I graduated at 10 years old, so that's, the, I'm not quite <laughs> as old as he thinks. But here's the deal on all that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it, it was a lot of, it's been a lot of fun and continues to be a lot of fun. 
But uh, the most fun my wife and I have had, and, and I've got to give her credit because she's the one that should be up here with the plaque. Um, she does all the work. I come up with the ideas, <laughs> and, and she, she makes sure, sure they, they, they work. So that's, that's kind of our story. But uh, it's fun to see these, these young men and women come into our home or whatever, and we get to see them uh, as people. You know, it's not just being on the basketball court or the football field or the swimming pool or w you name it. Uh, it it's kind of see them interact. And uh, it's kind of hilarious, I especially for the gals. I've enjoyed them the most because, you know, on the court, you see them flying around out there. The hair is all over the place. They're sweating. They're falling on the floor. They're diving. And then all of a sudden we get them at home, and uh, I'm thinking, hmm. Who are these people? <laughs> I mean, they're they're beautiful. They're all dressed up and 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 combed up, and they're great. And we get to see them just interact, and that's and that's great. Well, Tim, there's a lot of people in here that are strong supporters, obviously, of Southwest uh, and athletics. And you know, what would you say to, to someone to, you know new to town or looking to get involved in an organization like the Booster Club or SMSU, and how important it is? As you mentioned, you get to see these student athletes. You know, that's why. We do what we do uh, to, to help those student athletes and support them to, to come to Marshall and, and be great citizens. Well, uh, you know, yeah, I can tell you it's a lot of fun, uh, and it is, and it's also worthwhile, and it is, and we raise a lot of money to help these kids get an education, and we do. But here's the bottom line, and it's got, it doesn't, it's got very little to do with athletics, really. It's just that Southwest State is just a very important part and a very integral part of not only Marshall as a community, but Southwest Minnesota as a community. And we all got to pull together to keep this institution, you know, where it is. Because without it, uh, I, I think we're in big trouble. We really do a service uh, to kids, young people, and, and it pulls everybody, you know, together in the area. Tim, well deserved. We had to twist your arm a couple of times here to get up here, but uh, it, you and, and your wife do a great job supporting the Mustangs, and uh, we really appreciate the Congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. Thank well, thank you, Kelly, and that concludes the latest induction into the SMSU Athletics Hall of Honor. Just a few things before we leave today. Uh, will all the Hall of Honor inductees uh, please come forward for a photo uh, at the uh, backdrop for pictures? Actually it's actually in the back. Sorry about that. And then uh, also a reminder to our Hall of Honor class and to others that they'll be recognized at halftime of the men's game tonight. So uh, please line up behind the SMSU bench once halftime begins. Your tickets are in the gift bag that you received earlier, and the women's game begins at 5, the men at 7. Thank you, everybody, for coming this afternoon. And go Mustangs.